Hello friends, Nanaki here, bringing you another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. I'm playing as the Heavy today on King of the Hill Harvest, armed with the Tomislav, the Delicious Sandwich, and the Killing Gloves of Boxing. Uh, Harvest is a pretty small map, so we get right to the action here. Uh, the idea with all of the Heavy's primary weapons is to put your enemy in the middle of your crosshair, pull the trigger, and keep them there until they die. Most people will be smart enough not to charge straight at you. They'll try to come at you from the side like that pyro, but most people won't be so obvious about it. You see the slightly increased movement speed of the Thomas Love paying off. I can dodge those rockets just by a hair. I see at least a demo man and a heavy on the point, though I see people shooting in at the point from behind me, and uh, I see the demo man in the corner there. I take him out easily enough. I see the scout coming in from the back, and I think now's a good moment. And Thanks to teamwork and luck, uh, I get that heavy before he gets me. I, I have an opportunity here to eat my sandwich to get my health back. Uh, we get the point, uh, having only had 13 seconds of uh, you know the opponent's uh, time off the clock, so that's pretty good. Uh, pretty much our whole team is alive right now, and here they come rolling out again. And before you know it, I am out of ammo, and I have not played this map very much, and I do not even know where to go for ammo. I was remembering there was ammo behind this little hut, but I did not see it, even though I think I just overlooked it. Uh, it was probably about to spawn. So I go running off to the house. I sped this up because it's like 30 seconds of me just running around with no ammo. I do finally get ammo, and just before I can make any kind of use of it, I get backstabbed by an Eternal Reward Spy. So there is a fake Nanaki running around, threatening my teammates. As soon as I sp spawn, I uh, say something about it there in the team chat. Uh, you make sure you wait until you spawn, until you you know bother saying anything about it, because when you're dead, the only other people who can hear you are other dead people. I see him yelling about a spy, and I almost for a second thought he might be behind me. He saw me spin a, spin a 180 and spin back just in time to see the uh, decapitated scout uh, spy. And I go moving down the point by myself, and that was dumb. And uh, I am immediately uh, pretty much just sticky smattered by the... Uh, demo man there and uh, don't manage to accomplish anything in that life and uh, you know they've still got the point time is counting down but my teammate is on the point uh, it looks like they just died as well so I go ahead and out and uh, you know immediately start gunning that guy in the back move in on the point which is again apparently empty and uh, with the help of the scout we uh, we capture it again uh, I don't play a lot of heavy. Uh, it's a little bit more of a straightforward class than uh, some of the other classes, especially the explosive jumping classes. They're they're kind of fun. Uh, and when you're firing your gun, your mobility is severely hampered, uh, making you a sitting duck for snipers and, and spies for that matter, because you've got to focus at whatever you're looking at. And speaking of which, there, that spy uh, ran out of cloak right as he went to pass me. I bet he was cursing his luck on that one. Lucky for me, though. Uh, here again, I'm running low on ammo, and I go looking for the ammo. There it is. Yeah, now I see it. <laughs> if only I'd waited another moment when I was back there earlier. Here I'm hoping to get a kill with the Killing Gloves of Boxing, because, uh, as you probably know, they provide five seconds of crits for all your weapons, and the Tomislav's uh, very rapid spin-up time, it's uh, plus 40%, uh, means you will make the most of it. And uh, once again, get lucky and kill that spy. Uh, as a heavy, you really need to check your back very frequently. Uh, pretty much return 180s all the time. Anyone that you haven't seen shoot their weapon or pass through a teammate is a potential spy. If you uh, assume that about everyone, at all times you will be paranoid, but you will be safe. Uh, and, uh, you know, right here I get gunned down from above uh, in another effort to uh, take the point. And, uh, normally I would play medic for the uh, team if uh, the team didn't have one, but I was just playing medic for a couple hours on another s server, literally hours, uh, with uh, Alps playing any other classes. I was really ready for a change. Really wanted to gun some people down like this in a tight and closed space. Uh, that's the best thing about having control of the point is you can defend it from outside of it. And there's a scout uh, looking badass with blood-stained face, uh, doing what you're supposed to do against heavies coming in from the side. Uh, because I'm focused on the people on the point. I also kind of overextended there. There you see Ed Zeppelin being credit to team, standing there surveying the situation. I'm sure that's what he was actually doing. He wasn't just being AFK. He was preparing, gauging the right moment to jump in, and, and just waiting for support, I'm sure. Uh, it's, yeah, you can check your back for spies to avoid them, but you really can't do anything to avoid being headshotted as a heavy except avoiding sniper lanes outright, which is pretty much impossible, and uh, you know, all you can really do is be aware of snipers, try to stay behind cover, or uh, take alternate routes to avoid them. Uh, luckily I don't have to contend with too many snipers in this video. They just took the point, and uh, they only have a minute left with it, but we only have 23 seconds with it, and we just killed a whole lot of them. I see a lot of red guys dead. Uh, it's always really handy to be able to hit tab and uh, glance at uh, how many of uh, your teammates are alive versus theirs. 
Uh, it'll, uh, you know, it's really useful as spy, but uh, it's really useful as anyone, for that matter. Uh, there I see uh, somebody, once again, just, you know, uh, walking around, shoot them. Hey, let's, it's a spy. So, you know, like I said, treat everyone as a spy until you have proof that they are not. Uh, we capture the point. Uh, we only have 23 seconds left to get it, and uh, they have 24. Imagine that. Uh, this round has been pretty close all the way down the line. And uh, once again, I'm running low on ammo, and uh, unfortunately, I think that scout took it and killed another spy. Uh, the uh, scout meets his end at the hands of the mini sentry. More red guys coming in to get the point, and I am out of ammo and accidentally start eating my sandwich out in the open, which, you know, maybe it was distracting for a moment, maybe it wasn't, but uh, they still get the point, regardless of my distracting. And... Uh, I get some ammo and I go charging up uh, kind of willy-nilly. Uh, notice I've got a healer suddenly at the end of the game, you know, now that there's only 15 seconds left and I'm dead. And I'm thinking, oh god, if I'm gonna get to the point in time to do anything, I need to switch to the gloves of running urgently, which I do. Uh, they only have a couple seconds left. I'm like, oh, that's a shame. We lose. And there's a tiny, tiny triangle of blue holding the point and then other teammates jump on and yeah, I go running in and help clear out the, the last couple, little bit of damage there, and uh, we get the point and we win the game in double overtime, which is exciting. And uh, you know that's what you want. You want close games with good competition and good competent players on both sides to you know kind of balance out the uh, the skills of each team. And uh, even if they we weren't real class balanced with no medic, it was still a good round. And I'm more concerned with that. So thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. I'll catch you later.